Hi students, welcome to this YouTube channel. This is Arjun and I'm going to upload all videos regarding class 9 physics and chemistry. In your class 9, you have 5 physics chapters and 4 chemistry chapters. You are going to get complete lectures of those 9 chapters in this channel. So, without wasting our time, let us jump into our first chapter in our textbook and first chapter in chemistry that is matter in our surrounding and this is your lecture one. As we look at our surroundings, we see large variety of things with different shapes, sizes and textures and everything in this universe is made up of material which scientists have named matter. You see, the air we breathe, the food we eat, stones, clouds, plants and animals, even a small drop of water or particle of sand, everything is matter. Everything around is made up of matter, but we have a question that is, what is matter? What is meant by matter? We can also see as we look around that all things mentioned above occupy space that is volume and have mass. So what are the objects we have seen? Everything has some space and volume and which have mass. So by this what we can say matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So if they ask you what is meant by matter, what is the definition of matter, you can say this definition, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. You see examples, pencil, objects which we are using in our house, car, these all objects have mass and these objects will occupy some space hence we can say these are matter these are matter since early times human beings have been trying to understand their surroundings here early indian philosophers classified matter in the form of five basic elements those five basic elements are known as pancha tatva you see the name pancha tatva pancha represents five and those philosophers told every matter in this universe made up of those five basic elements and let us see what are those five basic elements number one air number two land or earth you can say number three fire four sky number five water these are five basic elements and known as pancha tatva. According to them, everything, living or non-living, was made up of these five basic elements. Ancient Greek philosophers had arrived at a similar classification of matter. Modern day scientists have evolved two types of classification of matter based on their physical properties and chemical nature. In this chapter, we shall learn about matter based on its physical properties. Chemical aspects of matter will be taken up in subsequent chapters. In second chapter, we are going to see that chemical aspects. So, till now what we have read? What is matter? What is meant by matter? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Now, let us look about physical nature of matter. What is meant by physical nature? So, we need to go with the question, what is matter made up of? Till now we have been talking about matter. Now we need to learn what is matter made up of? What will be there inside the matter? All matter comprises of very small particles and all matter can be broken up in 
a similar manner to get very small particles hence we conclude that all matter is made up of small particles so particles are responsible for matter by this we can say because of these particles we can get atoms and molecules atoms made up of particles at the same time molecules are also made up of particles next these are the concepts we have discussed now let us see few questions in how many forms did the earlier indian philosopher classify matter that is a question try to answer this question you have four options three types four types five types and six types so what is the correct answer yes what you have thought is correct that is five and we have studied about panchatattvas next let us see another question which of the following are matter i'll give you few examples and you need to classify them into matter so you know what is meant by matter matter is a substance which has mass and occupies space now let us see few examples chair air love smell hate almonds thought cold cold drink smell of perfume in these examples you need to say which one is matter which one is not a matter you see first one chair yeah chair is a matter because chair has mass and occupies space air what is meant by air air is nothing but mixture of gases gases made up of particles and it will have mass so air is matter next while coming to love love is not a matter it is an emotion and there is no mass for love there is no space for love smell no it is sensation hate is also type of emotion next you see almonds almonds have mass and occupy space thought no it is not a matter next cold cold is also a sensation so cold is not a matter cold drink so cold drink is nothing but it is liquid isn't it liquids made up of particles so whatever it may be the object if it is made up of particles known as matter so cold drink is matter next while coming to perfume you see it is smell of perfume if you see perfume there will be liquid inside it when it is coming out it will come out in form of gas gas consists of particles hence smell of perfume is matter so this is very small introduction concept about chapter matter in our surrounding here we have learnt about only matter matter is a substance which has mass and occupies space in our next video we are going to learn about characteristics of particles of matter so guys if you have understood this concept if you like this video just share this video to your friends such that you will learn your friend also will learn and learn together grow together thank you we'll meet in our next video